So anyway, vaccines, vaccines. So what's happening? The second flight of uh, Pfizer vials, uh, not the pills, is arriving tomorrow. And um, yeah, Kono is explaining that that will uh, account for something like 80,000 doses in total, uh, which will be given out to medical workers. Then they, he also mentioned that um, uh, because apparently the, the, the manufacturing capacity of Pfizer in Europe, apart from the fact that Europe's basically hijacking all of the deliveries of the stuff at the moment, they are building extra capacity to manufacture, which will come online in May. But until May, he said, people are going to have to manage their expectations about how many vaccines are going to be available in Japan and that they will probably start, first of all, with medical workers. And then after that, they'll have to do probably step by step with like people over 100, followed by people over 95. Uh, he was asked about what about people with preconditions or whatever that um, you know that, that are at heightened risk like diabetes and whatnot and he said well the problem is the government has a data doesn't have a database of who those people are so he said it would be up to the prefectures only people to apply for that and for, for prefectures to sign off on that but based on what they can plan for right now and the limited number of doses available it's going to take a long time they won't really be able to get started until May um, and then it will only be with the very elderly. Um, so we're really talking at the moment that it's going to be probably for someone like myself. Um, it's probably going to be five or six months, which is why the UK is saying that they could uh, vaccinate everybody by July 31st. I mean, that's great for them. It looks like they're probably going to get it faster than in Japan. Um, but again, I mean, Kono's doing, it seems a good job. He's being transparent. He's uh, he's saying that as soon as they can give concrete schedules, they will do it. Um, and right now they're working at setting up the infrastructure to be able to distribute it. So that's that's pretty good. Um, Black Tingo, Britain are hijacking all the vaccines. Oh, that's right, because they signed the deal with uh, AstraZeneca first, right? I think that was the thing. Yeah, I mean, every everyone's scrambling. It's, it's basically like toilet paper in a supermarket right now, I think, with vaccines. So, yeah, yeah, that's what's happening with the vaccine schedule. And they're going to be vaccinating uh, foreigners as well, so that's cool.